Welcome back, everyone. Well, I met my guest about a month ago, and I was just very taken with his sense of patriotism and his love of our country. This is uh, Tony Garcia, and he is, I got to get the name right, Tony, Public Relations Officer for Post 233 American Legion in Glens Falls. Welcome back. Thank you. Very really nice to have you back. I very much enjoyed our, our, our first conversation. He's talked about so many things that I think are relevant today. And, you know, uh, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it, right? So, you know, it makes a heck of a lot of sense to learn from history. And uh, when Tony was here, uh, it was he came in to publicize a, a three-series lecture, a uh, three-lecture series that's happening in Glens Falls. And the first one went by, and the uh, second one is coming up. It's on March 1st. Now, the name for the, the lecture series was... Uh, what you need to know, and it covers a, a broad range of issues. Uh, this sheriff from Warren County is coming in. There's going to be a lot of things about what you can do uh, in your neighborhoods and stuff like that. But the one that's coming up on March 1st really struck me. Very creative approach, and boy, if you want to talk about history and its relevance through time, this lecture is all about that. What's the name of this lecture, Tone? This is called Local Liberated Ladies. Yes from the Nazis of World War II mm -hmm. in Europe. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the, you know, the setup is, is very, very unusual. And I want to try to give you as much information as we can about this. There are three women living in our community have very, very personal experiences from World War II. And if you know anything about World War II, you know that when you say something like that, we're not talking about pleasant experiences. We're talking about the hardship of war. and. The way they're doing it is they're bringing these three women in, but three younger women in their teens are going to tell the story of each one of these women who are now got to be in their 80s or 90s, right? Exactly. Oh, Tony, <laughs> this is insane. This, uh, so tell us about it. Well, what happened was uh, <clears throat> we're all about uh, uh, schools and the community programs and mm -hmm. trying to uh, promote uh, honor and patriotism within the schools. So we thought, what's a good, great way to bring together school students and subjects like this? Mm -hmm. They study government, they study history, mm -hmm. uh, they all know World War II happened. Uh, uh, some really don't know what was behind, for instance, Hitler and mm -hmm. when he came to power. Uh, so we're going to have these students introduced by the uh, in a little introduction by one of the other students that they have there to uh, present a little background or just a minute long mm -hmm. about what really happened that brought about this power in uh, France and Germany that mm -hmm. overcame them. Uh, Latvia, in this case also, we have three ladies from those mm -hmm. three countries. And uh, it happened instantly, as you know and I know, uh, overnight because of one significant act of mm -hmm. one uh, of those countries and uh, come and hear what that was, and mm -hmm. uh, you'll enjoy it. The you know what, I wanna, I wanna jump in, Tony. Uh, he, what he's referring to, of course, is that the Nazis at the time, World War II, they went about their business one day in Lafayette, going to school, going to work, and everything else. Overnight, it completely changed, because they, they were invaded, and their lives from that point forward changed. And uh, also, at the lecture, you're going to have photographs, you were telling me, too, right? We're having, uh, yeah, the, each lady is bringing their own set of memorabilia, uh, pictures of them as children yes. during those times, and uh, some nice pictures as well as not. There will right. also be actual photographs of some of the harsh things that took place, and, uh, and I mean very serious harsh, in the middle of a war-torn yes, zone right. and country and what happened to them. Most of them were in a small little village just a couple of miles from bigger ones, mm -hmm. bigger than uh, our Glens Falls area, mm -hmm. and uh, some approximately the same size. Um, and uh, so people can see really in progress what happened with, while the Nazi occupation was going on, the ladies themselves, as I said, will be there, but these students uh, will be telling the story of how life changed with the instant loss of freedom, mm -hmm. and four years later, of how, what a magnificent wa thing it was to experience for the mm -hmm. first time, to freedom again. 
That's right. Some of them weren't able to smile for four years. It That's was right. just so difficult. I bet it was. <clears throat> uh, and you know, there's something very poignant here. The girls who are telling the stories for the women are roughly the same age that these women were when they experienced this in well, World more, War II, more, right? More so when they were uh, uh, immigrated to the United States. The, United States. Uh, the ladies all, all were probably between ages of uh, approximately seven years old, mm -hmm. let's say. Uh, could be uh, six years old. There's, a, there's only a couple of years difference between the three. Yeah, got it. Uh, and there's, uh, what's interesting is that uh, for us, <clears throat> in hearing this, and I interviewed all these ladies, uh, were two very parallel things that they all experienced throughout this. And uh, there's a nice part to it later, actually mm -hmm. there's a third thing, but mm -hmm. it's going to be an interesting, funny well, surprise. Well, you know what, I, I, I want to get enough information out here. This is going to take place at uh, 37 Broad Street in Glens Falls, that's the Salvation Army building, it's, right? It's, it is, and it's in an old school. It holds 700 people. Right. Gorgeous. I can't encourage you enough. This is a Wednesday night at 6 p.m., March 1st, Wednesday night, 6 p.m. You know, bring your children, bring your grandchildren. You know, meet these people personally. Listen to these stories. Take a look at these photographs. And it's just that, that kind of reminder about the country we live in and the importance of preserving our way of life. I, I don't know how else to say it. And I have one other thing, and we're out of time, but one thing I noticed about Tony, he, he's been carrying these cards with him, and we have a whole bunch of them here. The, uh, these are Patriot cards, and any school administrator out there can contact the Glens Falls American Legion and get these cards to hand out to all the students and all your teachers to hand them out to your students. And I just want to read something off the back of it to remind you. May this flag remind you to treat our flag with the same respect that it has given you. Fly your flag proudly every day for all to see. So, Tony, I, you know, this is, you got to read the whole thing to understand the context of that. But thank you very much for coming in. This is a, an amazing lecture. Again, it's Wednesday, March 1st, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Um, at 37 Broad Street in Glens Falls, the Salvation Army, and we'll have Tony back again to talk about the last, uh, the last lecture in the series. Thanks. Great to see you, Tony. Great to be here. Thanks very much. You're quite welcome. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.